Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In today's video, I want to cover a topic that I've personally run into myself while working with SOLIDWORKS Electrical. And that's these two commands that are side by side on the schematic menu, stretch and move. The questions that I've had are, what do these do and when do I use which? If you've had these same questions, please keep watching. I have a simple project open that I'm working on with two multi-phase circuits and a motor symbol on each. I want to move the motor to the right and I can do that with either command. The difference is apparent after I've completed that move. If what I'm trying to accomplish is moving the symbol, the move command is all I need. You can access the move command again up here in the schematic menu or in the modify menu or after you've selected either using a box select or just by right clicking on whatever you'd like to move you can access it from the menu right here. Once that command is activated you see on the property manager it's asking to specify coordinates so left click where you want to start the move and then you can either move your cursor in the direction you want a certain amount of distance or you can type in the box over here x and y coordinate. I'm just going to use my cursor so I'm going to left click and complete the move. You see that once I've completed the move the symbol is no longer connected to the wires. If you wanted those wires to be connected you could reestablish the connections by left clicking on each one of the wires activating the handle, left clicking on the handle, left clicking or moving it over, and then left clicking to complete that connection. However, if that's what you want to do in the first place, you can see how this is a tedious process. On the bottom symbol, I'll use the stretch command. You can either pre-select the entities or go into the command and then select what you'd like to stretch. This command is only available under that schematic menu right there. I'm going to activate the command. It asks us for the stretch points. Now I want to use each one of these connection points, but you see if I left click on each one, it selects, deselects, and it can get a little confusing. So if I'm going to move multiple connection points, I like to use a left to right box select, hold down that left mouse button, move, make a box, and then release it when you have everything you'd like to move. Now you see those four points are highlighted and I can either select the green arrow to move forward in the command or hit my right mouse button. As soon as I do that the next thing that comes up is now just like the move command specify those base coordinates so left click there and then again either type in a distance or move over the cursor like I've done and then left click to complete the stretch. Now we can really see the difference the wires have maintained their connection. They've been stretched. In today's video, I went over using the stretch and move commands. I hope this helps you have confidence in using these in your schematics. Thanks for watching.